Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth. And today from Skylar, we have the RSV Quintel with Apocrypha. Now this thing was highly anticipated. People were super excited about it. They also have an option without the Apocrypha. And of course, this is the Imperial Blue. They have it or had it in other colors. I don't know what all colors are available at this point. So let's take a quick look. First of all, when you get a Skylar, when it's not the full yap, you are going to see that Jerusalem cross nice and centered. And that's something that is really important to me for reasons I have no idea why. But I'm the way I am, and that's just the way it is. I love the accent ribbons here with the three Beresford ribbons. They always go all out on their ribbon game. The spine work, obviously, is going to be beautiful. Skylar does a beautiful job on their stamp work. They do a beautiful job on their stitch work. I always love their accent liners. Now this one's black, it's not the bold red, which, you know, the red actually probably would have been kind of cool with the blue, but I understand why they went with the black because that would have been a bold accent. The perimeter gold here just looks great. The corners, really nice. Edge lined, when you open it to the beginning, it does struggle to lay flat, but that's not bad. We're in Genesis 42, Genesis 12, and now it's starting to struggle. Skylers are usually really good about laying flat and the edge line tab not being so overwhelming and creating that huge hump. So I, I'm confident this will break in over time. So those are some really good things about this Bible. Let me tell you a few other good things about it. I absolutely love these drop caps. So they're gorgeous. I love that they kind of went away from the look of the Canterbury and kind of gave it its own. Check that out because the Canterbury is kind of filled in with the red where they left those a little more bare in the back. and. I just think that's kind of cool. I think that's a nice touch. Another thing that's really beautifully done is this gold and blue ink dye on the edge of the page that provides that art gilding that accents this gold. I think that's just simply beautiful. Another thing that I love is I love they went ahead and went with a 10 point font here. Sometimes the quintels can look a little gaudy with that big 11 point font. It's really beautifully laid out. If you know anything about the quintel, double column references on the bottom really beautiful accents. They have the poetry and poetic settings, and then they have the reading portions and reader settings. And I just think that's a beautiful layout. It's really what makes the Quintel what it is. So now let me tell you some problems that I have with the RSV Quintel. One of them is in the middle, it's bound really tight. And you hear that spine cockle? And it's hard to see on camera, but you see how this the, the inner part of that it's just got these like waves that is because it's bound really tight I think what happened here is they tried to kind of cram the apocrypha and keep it about as thin as a regular quintel and I think that was a mistake I think they should have just went ahead and just bound it normally and just allowed it to be thicker this is the 28 GSM end opaque paper this is really good paper if you like thin paper. I prefer it a little thicker. I like paper more in the 36 range. I don't mind a thick Bible. This is bound too tight. So that's kind of problem number one. Problem number two, and it could be a related issue or it could be unrelated, but you can see how the first and the last signatures are cocked. They're stepped. They're turned just a little bit. And I don't know if it's related or unrelated issues, but it does make for kind of unsightly space and if you're a gilding nut like me, then I could see that being problematic. I don't know if they're all this way, but mine certainly is. I did contact Evangelical Bible about this, and they assured me that it's not structural, which I already knew that. I was just trying to let them know that there was a problem cosmetically. But overall, this is a very nice volume. This is a very nice Bible, but it is a little disappointing. I think the most disappointing factor is the tightness in the middle. We can hear that spine cockle that for some reason just gets on my nerves now it's kind of creaky when you open it hear that these are look these are nitpicky things when you're buying a Skylar it's a nitpicky audience so that's one of the reasons why I try to review things like this is to let you know problems that I've encountered these problems they're not really problems it's not really a big deal but there are things that if you spend 200 bucks on a Bible and you get it, you might be a little disappointed and maybe watching this review at least will prepare you and possibly yours will not have any of these issues. So there you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your next word.